Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Folks, I just feel like I want to bounce off the ceiling as I take a look at the scripture that comes in our four-minute Bible booster today. Wow, we're into 1 John chapter 3 and the first part of verse 1. It is amazing. You know what it says? It says this, See what great love the Father has lavished on us. Lavish, not just a little bit of pocket change that maybe we would maybe give to a panhandler on the street. No, no, no. The bank account is open. The fullness of riches, the very best that he could give. Listen to this. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God. And that is what we are. Oh my goodness, we could, we could sit on this verse all day. It's, it's absolutely amazing. We are the children of God. God loves us that much. See, the Bible tells us that when we accepted Jesus as Savior and Lord, we are adopted into the family of God. And we're not just simply the creation of God and His children in the sense of creation. No, no, no. He actually adopts us into His family and includes us in His eternal will, if I can use that human analogy. <laughs> Some of us grew up in a neighborhood where there was kind of a community mom. <laughs> you know, there, there, was the, there was a home where, you know, there was a mom that, uh, you know, that sort of just opened up her, her home and her kitchen for all the kids in the neighborhood. We would call her mom. You know, we could go over there and we could pour out our hearts. We could get a slice of apple pie or whatever kind of thing. And it, it was, she was just, she was mom and we were kind of her children. But, you know, we weren't really her children. We didn't really belong to her. And you know how we knew? Well, because when mom passed away, her will would be read and it would really only be her children and her adopted children that would receive a slice of the inheritance. Not the children in the neighborhood, but her children. God says we are his children. When we accept Christ, we are adopted into the family of God. And using that human analogy, God rewrites His will to include us in the eternal inheritance. Listen to this. Listen to this. The Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 8, verse 16 and 17, spells it out for us in a wonderful way. Listen to this. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in His sufferings, in order that we may also share in His glory. Did you catch that? <laughs> if you accepted Jesus, you are the heir of God, co-heirs with Christ. You see, Jesus is one with the Father. All that the Father has, He's given to His Son, Jesus. But when we accept Christ, God says that we become co-heirs with Christ. All His eternal glory is not only Belong, does not only belong to Jesus, but it is shared with us who have received Christ. We are the adopted children of God. Now, that's absolutely incredible. That's absolutely amazing. Now, the condition is, of course, that we need to participate in His sufferings. Now, Paul's not talking about an experiential sharing the sufferings. Oh, I, you know, I need to suffer enough in my life so that I'm, you know, the sufferings that Christ went through, that, you know, that so that I'm somehow worthy of His grace. No, no, he's talking about a legal, um, forensic sharing in that suffering. See, Jesus died on the cross for your sin and for my sin. It's, I should have died, but He died for me. And so if I accept His payment for my sin that He paid for at the cross, and I accept Jesus as my payment, as my Savior and my Lord, that in that forensic legal way, I am participating in the suffering of Christ, and my sins are forgiven, and I now am then able to, I qualify to share in His glory. Wow, I am a child of God because of Jesus. Are you a child of God? See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we are. I hope you've put your faith and trust in Christ, because if you have, you are His child. Rejoice, 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 because Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. God bless you.